Hello, uh, and welcome to Rampant Pyanodon episode 12. So today, we are going to be working on making pi science. Uh, and if we zoom out a little bit, we need two things to make pi science. One, the first thing is basic substrates, and the second one is glassware. Uh, today, we will be working on the basic substrate. So as you can see here, uh, I've pulled up a list of how to make uh, the pi science one. So again, the glassware and the basic substrate. Uh, and the basic substrate takes uh, 91 buildings, actually 95, because these empty petri dishes, uh, ooh, these empty petri dishes, um, take four glassworks each, I think, um, but it doesn't provide the right recipe for some reason. Uh, so anyways, this is what we got, um, and it's it's pretty simple. I mean, if we look at the ingredients, and the, we don't actually need wooden floorboards. This is just what I'm using for fuel to let me know that I don't need them. Uh, we have plenty of wood. Limestone is free to generate. Actually, I can edit this. There we go. Limestone is free. So basically, we need wood, empty petri dishes, seaweed, stone, coke and water and that's pretty simple i just need a just a ton of them so here's a quick montage of me putting it together uh and by montage uh, what i mean is actually just uh two hours and 45 minutes of fast forwarded gameplay uh at 50 times the speed uh so as you can see here the first thing i realize is that the cellulose is massive then i realized that i actually have a ton of buildings that are gonna be very, very time consuming. I mean, those microorganism labs are also quite big. Uh, I mean, I, I set this to match my my uh, automation science pack uh, uh, production rate, which is one per second. Um, and I, I thought I thought about making it lower, but I, you know, I was too stubborn. So instead, we are ending up with this massive build. Uh, as you can see, I forgot, this is where I remembered about seaweed, and that was actually me going back into the real world to see if this would even fit anywhere remotely close to my map, uh, and the answer is no, it didn't. So what I did was I actually finished the seaweed part first and then blueprinted that. Uh, right here, you can see me pretending that the high pressure furnaces are boxes, but quickly realizing that was a dumb idea. Uh, we're making good progress at this point. Uh, and now, yes, now we're working on kind of like the, the inner bus, or not yet, actually. Yeah, the moss and the, uh, the steam producers were ripped from other builds. Uh, and now I'm starting to work on the, the inner bus here uh, and making it smaller and closer so that, uh, you know, that it, you know, it fits, it fits well together. It's nice and tight. Uh, here, you know, I don't even know what I'm doing with all these belts. The, they kind of just switch lanes a bunch, but you'll see what I mean. Okay, here I'm actually putting some inputs in. Again, I was a little bit earlier uh, trying to make sure that everything runs properly uh, so I can start debugging it. That was me going back into the real world again uh, just to make sure that it could actually even fit. Um, here's the limestone. I needed, uh, I think, 18 of them, so quite quite a bit of space uh, at the bottom there. They managed to fit. Um, it was this point I actually realized I was feeding in wood. And when you burn wood, it doesn't produce ash, which was a big, it was like a big realization moment for me. I like, I did not realize that, uh, which is funny because then, you know, wood is its own enemy because when you burn wood, it doesn't produce ash, but you need ash to make wood, so. Uh, at this point, the build is mostly done. I'm mainly just refactoring, and I think, yeah, you're about to see me copy-paste the entire thing and drag it over one space to the left. Uh, oh, wait, actually, I did that earlier. Yeah, now, now, now it's done. Uh, it's just me decorating. Uh, and I think in a couple seconds you're going to hear a bunch of random screeching. Um, that was me talking, uh, but I don't know what I was talking about. And that's it. But again, yeah, this is it all done. Uh, I've debuted my, my new decoration technique called sometimes black but sometimes stone. It's a very very uh, very hard technique to master. I've also got these stripes. Ooh, love the stripes. This is gonna take about 40 billion wood. Actually 40 billion this time. Like actually, actually, for, don't correct me, it's gonna be 40 billion. 
uh, wood this time. Um, but yeah, this is this is a big build. This is my biggest build, uh, which is crazy. But anyways, um, we're going to port it over to the real world. But before that, I'm going to give a really long and detailed explanation of how it works. <clears throat> Bing, bang, bong, bang, a rang, ding, dang, go in. Ding, dang, go out. Okay, and let's port it over. My god, th this thing is just so ridiculously big. It's massive. It's gigantic. Um, the only place near here that I can really fit it is like, kind of like this. But I'm kind of scared, because what, what if it doesn't fit? Okay, it's going to fit. It's going to fit. Calm down. I'll place it right here. Um, oh, did I just build that? Shoot. Actually, before I build that, uh, I want to build the other thing first, which is the seaweed. So let's see where the seaweed can fit. Oh, seaweed is not that big. So we can just kind of cram that anywhere. Right here looks good. Uh, and <clears throat> that looks good to me. Again, take a moment to appreciate the animations in the pie mods. It looks absolutely beautiful. But the next thing on our list now is to just go ahead and place this behemoth down. And again, I can't even really do it in person, or I can if I just find out where it is. I wanted to place it right over here. Oh my god, that took so long just to place. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, speed this up a little. And done building. Uh, now we get to go through the fun process of connecting it up. Uh, and we should start over here with our seaweed and connect the seaweed up first. Okay, uh, everything is all wired up now. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like uh, my dreams of powering all my glassworks with leftover fluids is um, not going to work because I'm not really producing any petri dishes. In fact, I don't know if we... Oh, we actually have a bunch to start. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and use these for now. Uh, and now we simply wait for the petri dishes to arrive. Okay, and the petri dishes have alive, uh, alive. <laughs> uh, try again. And the petri dishes have arrived. Let's go ahead and fill it up.
No. Oh. We made our first basic substrate. Uh, while I'm in the middle of debugging our system, because uh, it, as it turns out, no matter how hard you try, issues still make it to production. And there we go. Now you are seeing it run in full flow. Um, I think in the middle I celebrated about cellulose, so fantastic. I always love checking out our milestones. There it is. I always forget the button is. It's Control Alt M. Uh, for Pi Science One, there we go. Look at it. We got aluminum at 16 hours, lead at 16 hours, MOS at 20, simple circuit boards at 77, and basic substrate at 154. <laughs> 154 hours. That is quite a bit. We are almost to Pi Science One. Uh, but the, yes, we are running out of petri dishes very quickly uh, again because my the dreams of running this off of leftover fuels is not panning out. So I have to go ahead and make a, another more dedicated glassworks. Uh, and my uh, gas of choice was to use Singus, which is a fake gas. Um, I don't know what that really means. Um, but anyways, I'll research fake gas, uh, the Singas, and then I'll make that my primary um, glassworks thing. And there we go, Singus researched. Let's go hell, let's go ahead and build the Singus builder. Uh, and there we go, pretty easy. So again, it's just coal gas and water in, uh, ash, Singus, and tar out. So let's go ahead and port it over. Okay, looks good to me. It's up, it's running, it's even connected to its own fluid control area. If we just go over to the left over here, uh, and the ash joins up with the ash line. So yep, here we go. This is for syngas, which I realize is synthetic gas, which is why it's fake gas. Um, and yeah, the ash goes right onto this line. It's piggybacking off of here. Uh, and now all that is left for this episode is to make a dedicated glassworks instead of this area, which uses leftover glassworks. So I think I will probably just build something right over here to the left, um, like this. Uh, and there we go. So how we have it set up is this is our dedicated area. So in the future, I actually like the solution a lot. Um, unfortunately, there's a cliff here. I'm going to have to shift this entire thing to the right in case I want to add more fuels to the dedicated side. But we have the stuff being produced here, Syngas, which is our primary uh, gas works fuel. Um, when the stuff comes out, it'll be prioritized or the stuff on the right side, the excess fuels, uh, production, whatever they produce, will be prioritized over with the sit gas, the primary, which makes sense. We want to use excess before primary. Same here, the quartz, not that this should matter much, but the quartz dust goes towards the excess first. Uh, and there we go. That should be it for the episode. Uh, I just want to give another quick shout out to this to this mod, the pipe layer mod. So useful because I just have so many pipes uh, and it is so hard to keep track, especially with all these trees everywhere. It's hard to see where everything is, but with this mod uh, enabled, I'm able to kind of very easily follow where all my fluids are going. So yeah, I mean, I just, I just want to say I've been using it and it is very, very helpful, very... Okay, I don't know where the last part cut out, but I accidentally hit the stop recording button. But I was just saying, it's awesome. Uh, and also that uh, this brings me to the end of the episode. So, let's go ahead and open up our little flowchart. Uh, we have finished basic substrate, uh, and we even did Singus. So, yeah, let's just check these off. Uh, and there we go. Those are all checked off. Next episode, we are looking towards glassware. Um so that we can get another step closer to our Pi Science 1. This is the end of the episode, so I want to give a big thanks out to my patrons. Uh, once again, they are Ima, John Boy, Iris Petuzo, and, oh, sorry, uh, Mahestuzo and Iris Petuzo, and Sterling. I will see you guys in the next episode.